Once upon a time, a young boy named Franz went to work as an apprentice for a sorcerer. The sorcerer lived in a huge castle overlooking the little village where Franz lived with his family. It was considered a great honor to help and learn from such a clever and powerful man. Franz was very excited about learning how to do magic. But when he arrived on his first day, he was given a long list of chores to do around the castle. Cleaning, tidying up and fetching water from the well. Franz was not happy. It's not fair, he muttered to himself. I didn't come here to be his servant. When will I get to do some magic? The sorcerer was a busy man. Each morning he would tell his apprentice what chores needed doing that day. He would then disappear into his workshop in the castle or journey out to one of the surrounding villages in the area, leaving Franz alone. Occasionally, as Franz went about the castle doing his chores, he would catch a glimpse of the great sorcerer looking through the pages of a large leather-bound book which he kept locked in a wooden cabinet in his workshop. The pages of his book were filled with beautiful illustrations and the words of the sorcerer's magic spells. Franz longed to have a look in the book himself. Several months later, fed up with just doing chores, Franz decided he would sneak a look in the sorcerer's special spell book when the old man was gone. As the sorcerer got ready to leave the castle that day, he called out to Franz. Boy, I need you to scrub the floor of the great hall for me, he said. You will need to fetch water from the well with this bucket and carry it to the big stone container in the hall. Franz rolled his eyes behind the sorcerer's back. Of course, sir, he mumbled. When the container is full of water, continued the sorcerer, take the broom and give the floor a good scrub. I want to see it shining when I get back this afternoon. As soon as the sorcerer left, Franz climbed the small staircase to the workshop. He knew where the sorcerer kept the key to the wooden cabinet, so he grabbed it and hurriedly opened the old creaking doors. Inside, on a shelf, sat the magic spell book. Franz carried the heavy book to the great hall and sat down to look through its magical pages. There were spells for all sorts of weird and wonderful things. As he turned the pages, Franz saw a spell that could bring any object to life. This gave him a brilliant idea. What harm can one little spell do, he thought to himself. Grinning, Franz rushed to fetch the broom and bucket. He placed the broom on the floor, sat back down at the desk and slowly chanted the words of the magic spell. He couldn't wait to see the broom clean the great hall by itself. At first, nothing happened. Franz was just about to try the spell again when suddenly the broom sprouted little arms and leapt up from the floor. Franz was so surprised, he nearly fell off his chair. That was amazing. He was doing magic. Broom, he commanded, take the bucket to the well and fetch water to fill that container. The broom marched off to the well and started carrying the bucket backward and forward between the well and the container in the great hall. Franz couldn't believe his eyes. Laughing as the little broom kept bringing water, he cried, I am the master and you must obey me. After a while, Franz noticed that the container was overflowing and that the water was running all over the floor. Stop, little broom, he shouted. The broom, however, kept on fetching water. 
What am I to do now? thought Franz. Flipping through the pages of the magic book, he tried to find a spell to make the broom stop. But the broom kept on going. By now, the water was all over the floor. Franz grabbed an axe and chopped the broom into small pieces. That should do it, he said with a sigh of relief. To his dismay, the little pieces of broom started to move and grow, and they too sprouted legs and arms. Soon there was an army of new brooms. They all began to march to the well to fetch more water. Franz didn't know what to do. The brooms continued splashing the water into the great hall, and soon it was swirling around Franz's knees. He was powerless to stop the brooms. And just then, the sorcerer returned. He raised his arms and in a booming voice chanted a magic spell. In an instant, the brooms all vanished and the water disappeared. Everything returned to normal. Shaking with fear, Franz fell to his knees. Please forgive me. Master, he begged, I just wanted to try some magic. The sorcerer was very angry. Never play with things you don't understand, he shouted. Magic is very powerful and should only be used by a sorcerer. Franz hung his head in shame. He would never get the chance to learn magic now. I should send you away, boy, continued the sorcerer, but he could see that Franz was very sorry. He decided to give him another chance. You can stay, he said. You still have much training to complete. Franz was so relieved. Thank you, sir, he said. I promise I will work very hard. Well said the sorcerer. You can start by cleaning this floor, the old-fashioned way. The End <laughs>